Hello, Internet! Praise be to God, and welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. We now have 11 punies following us, so we can continue our way through the Great Tree. We also got the puny stone from the Elder, and that's where it's going to come in handy here. This little platform, this is where we can put in the puny orb. Place the puny orb. Pushes the tile down. And cool stuff can happen when you do that. Ooh, look! A new pipe! Come on, let's jump in! Then you can remove the puny orb, and now we can go down this pipe. And the nice little holes are there for the punies to follow us. Pretty cool programming on the game developer's part. And it's time to fight us some more x knots Oh boy, Luigi's in the audience! Very nice. We can touch this computer here. Oh, no, we want it to stay on green. And that's a nice little shortcut back to the beginning. All right. This part here is annoying. So first off, we're going to need Flurry. I'm going to place the Puny Orb here. Now what we're going to do is blow them all off a cliff. I said we're going to blow them all off a cliff. Yep. Now we're going to remove the stone, because if we don't, when they get uh, go over to the other side, they're just going to follow us right back. So they're going to be in these bubbles. Now we can use Flurry again to blow them over the gap. Of course, there are a couple that eluded us. Are you serious? I blame Flurry for this. So now we should have lost all of them, because they're all on that side. Because there's this nice little bubble bath at the bottom. There's also a Shine Sprite down here. I knew there was something. Oh, and a Thunder Rage. Let's see. What do I throw out? Throw out the Vol... No, I'm going to throw out the Gradual Syrup. I don't really need that for anything. Nice Shine Sprite. I do not intend on using Flurry unless I have to, so get me Goombella. She's the best right now. And yep, now we are joined on this side by the Punies, and you can do the same thing to put them back on the other side. So that's one of the many puzzles in this dungeon, which are cool in concept, but they're a bit annoying in execution to do. Alright, this might be the room that introduces a new enemy type. Yep, there they are. These guys are piters, and they scare the punies when they get close. And piters have quite a bit of HP for this play in the game. As you can see, they're still not dead. Oh, that was bad. So they can shoot one kind of powerful web, or three really weak ones. It's their choice. Alright, time to tattle. That's a piter! Ick! They gross me out! Max HP is 5, attack is 2, and defense is 0. Ew! Besides its normal attacks, it might spit three web wads at you consecutively. You'd better have good timing if you want to guard against its attacks. Actually, its attacks are fairly easy to guard against. It also says here that the punies can't stand piters, so I'm not the only one. Just the sight of these fiends makes punies flee in terror. I know how they feel. Arachnophobia is pretty common. I actually, as long as the spiders aren't poisonous, I have no problem with spiders. There we go. When they're high up, it can be tough to get the action command down for the jumps. Get back here, punies. Some of them must have fallen down to the ground. That's okay. Also, 
that can be blown away by Flurry. Watch out, because Flurry also does blow your punies. Alright. They will stay up here, because they cannot turn into a paper airplane like I can. That was a good flight. There you go. That's what you want. Alright, now I left the punies back up at the top, which is not good, so I need to collect them again before going back down. Follow me. Trust me, you do not want to lose your punies. Really? No star piece? Okay, that just was screaming that there was a star piece back there, but apparently there was not. Is there more stuff in the bushes that I need to be aware of? Okay, there are all of my punies. I think I find it interesting that the punies are ah, a spider, but like they have no problem with the like flesh-eating piranha plants. For me, the piranha plants are far more freaky. What the heck are you? Mario, did you see that? That was a jabby! Based on what Puniper said, they're helping the intruders and trying to seize the tree. Our tribes have been enemies for a long time now. Every time we meet, we fight. A lot. But I used to get along with Jabble. He's of the Jabby tribe. I wonder if even Jabble is my enemy now. I hope not. That would be terrible. That is a han fancy schmancy alarm that they have. Everyone, it's the Jabbies! It's a 10 Jabby squadron! Uh, let's get them! Come on, Mario! So now, basically, they fight it out. We should be victorious since we've got more punies than they have jabbies. It's just like Pikmin. Wow, we did it! We defeated every last jabby here! Now we have to destroy the jabby high fortress! The punies pretty much do everything in that battle. It's pretty simple. Destroy it. I have no problem with spiders, but wasps, hornets, and bees that are stainers, I do not like. Alright, let's see here. Puny star, moon, sun. Well, that is interesting. We might want to remember that. And we get the blue key! Yes, with this key, we should be able to open the cell my people are locked in. Hurry, we have to free my sister and the others. So, here comes the backtracking. Blech. I wonder what would happen if I abandoned all the punies here, and I let the other guys out. What would happen? And they'll never come back, and that's that, and that's what's going to happen to us, and... Hey, by the way, what's that thing you've been holding onto so tightly? It's a mushroom. Oh. Not to be, you know, rude, but it looks all dry and wrinkly and gross. Yeah, yeah, I know. I picked it up so I could give it to my brother to eat. But then I got captured and stuck in here, and after a few days, it dried out. Oh, really? Great story. Anyway, don't worry so much. All my complaining aside, I'm sure Punio will return. It's so weird for me to call him Punio. I thought for sure it was Puno, like, the, my entire life. Don't know why, there's very clearly an eye there. And it's like Mario, so... Alright, let's get out of here. No, we're not going to explore the rest of the area. Sorry. Not until we rescue all the other punies. Yeah, but there's a cutscene that occurs when you reunite Punio with his sister. If you didn't have Punio with you when you opened the cell, what would happen? I kind of want to find out. Later, losers! You know what? I am going to... I'm going to see if I can do that. See ya! I will save first. Alright. 
Man, it is amazing what Let's Playing will cause you to do. <laughs> It's a me. <laughs> Petuni, I'm back. We brought the key. We're opening this. Oh, that's weird. So he rejoins us, but the rest don't. Okay. That's convenient. Look at all those peonies. Big Brother! Little Petunie! Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? Nope, I'm fine! Thank heavens! Hey, Big Brother, I have something for you. I meant to give this to you sooner, but... Mushrooms are your favorite, aren't they, Big Brother? But... Well, this one kind of got dried out. Big brother. It was icky, wasn't it? I'm sorry. No, not <clears throat> at all. Mm -mm, delicious. Very, uh, very uh, yummy. Big brother, are you okay? Give me a hug, Petuni. Hey, Quinnipunio, come on. Don't get all mushy. Everyone's staring. Well, it was just a really sweet gesture, that's all. Oh, it was nothing. 90 punies have joined your party! Now there are 101! Okay, so Punio just... <laughs> he just warps back, even if you lost him. And now we get the weird music. This is supposed to be a triumphant puny music. I think it's just kind of a little annoying. I love how long the chain of uh, punies are. What? Where did 20 stragglers get off to? This is, yeah, part of the reason why the dungeon's so annoying. Because I had all 91 of them when I went into the pipe. It's just some of them were too slow. Alright. Gotta do this again, but this time with way more punies. Not fun. Oh, hey, I got them all, though. There's always those one or two punies that get uh, <laughs> bypass you. There we go. Everybody, march! Alright. Nobody's falling behind, right? It is kind of amazing that they can render this many different sprites and AIs at the same time without the game lagging at all. Good on you, Nintendo. Okay, this is where we got it. Okay, there are piters on this area, so the punies are going to get scared off the cliff. I already know that. That's unavoidable. So we just got to kill these guys. Let's use Roof Tremor. I'm getting sick of these guys. That's still enough to kill him. If you do really well, you can get six damage to everybody, but that's pretty tough. And of course, we jumped on him from high up, so we're falling a good distance. Give me my coin. And shake some bushes. 
thought there was a star piece around here. How am I losing punies this easily? Okay, dudes, come on. Don't tell me they're stuck in the bushes. Nope, they're not. Cool. I don't know why I gathered them all up, because there's another puny. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you go, Coops. Aw, oh, I should have saved it for here. Actually, Thunder Rage time. Later, Pete Piter is. I need an extra inventory slot, anyways. Down they go, down they go. Should have gotten the big block there. Oh well. Alright, now I'm getting the red block. <gasps> it's the damage dodge P badge! Cuts the partner's damage uh, by one when you successfully do the action command. I want to equip that. No multi bounce. Uh, what else? Uh, gonna have to get rid of it. Uh, I don't really need power smash. Uh, well. Not for the common enemies, at least. Alright. So before we proceed in that direction... There is one thing I want to do. Everyone's caught up? Alright. You may have noticed, you may not have noticed. It really depends on how good your eyesight is. Or how perceptive you are. There is a hidden blow-away panel at the very far edge of this room, right here. You saw the tiny little flap there? I swear a puny just walked out of the shop there. But it's a hidden puny shop, which is pretty cool. This is a shop run by a puny named Pungent. I wonder if there are any rare items. This shop is hard to spot, so I've been in here hiding from those goons this whole time. But those fiends have been searching high and low for something inside this tree. What could they be looking for? You have any idea? That got puny's important later. Howdy do day, Dot, bud. Welcome to Pungent Shop. What can I do for you? I am going to store some of the stuff I should have stored a while ago. Can I withdraw anything lame? I can withdraw. Oh, spicy soup, yeah. Actually, I probably should hold on to the spicy soup. There's a recipe you can make with spicy soup. Yeah, so we have very cheap mushrooms, honey syrup that's very cheap, mini Mr. Minis, mysteries, ice storms, and HP drains. It's an interesting shop. Also, there's a secret in this shop. If you go over here, there's someone hiding back here. Hey, it's Jabble! Why are you hiding back here? Whoa, a Jabby? Not good. That little feller is gonna get mixed up in my stock. But I suppose I can't go dis disciplining him. He's still just a kid, after all. He is just a kid, Mario. Maybe we should, you know, take it easy on him. Yeah, okay. We'll even be. I wonder what his deal is. He seems so lonely. Like he's watching us secretly, you know? Yeah, he almost looks like a lost little kitty cat looking for a home. Aw, too cute. Oh, this is Goombella talking, not Punio. Hey, don't you think he... He wouldn't want to join us, would he? The young Jabba Eaton I silently nodded his head. It appears you have a new ally. I had heard the rumors from Madame Fleury to the Javis. Yep, the word is out. Mario can win over the hearts of anyone and everyone. I tell you, as a people person and a salesman, I must say I'm more than a little jealous. Yep, completely optional, but you can get Jabble the Jabby on your team. He's really cute, and it's just nice. I have a good amount of shot points, that's great. And he doesn't count as one of your 101. He's just, like, an extra guy. How did I lose some already? Come on, this is ridiculous. Even the Pikmin aren't this bad, because at least the Pikmin you can use the C-Stick to march them. No such luck with the... these guys. That was, like, the one thing about Pikmin 3 that I was not a fan of, is that they took out the march uh, command. It's another one of these. 
This one is significantly harder, though, because look at all those jabbies. Everyone, it's the jabbies! It's a 100 jabby squadron! Uh, charge! Come on, Mario! So this one, you actually have to help them out. You need to use Flurry to blow them and stun them in place. Get him! This one is quite a bit more luck-based than the last one. The last one you pretty much always win. This one is much harder. I don't even know how many punies we have left. Oh, that was awful! They walked all over us! We have to regroup and try again. Yep. Ouch, I can't believe we lost! We'll definitely beat them next time, though, right? Yeah, this one is really tough. I don't think Mario can actually do anything with, like, his hammer or anything. I don't think that's doing anything. But we were doing we did way better that time. Whoa, we beat him! We KO'd every last jabby here! I wonder what Jabble thinks of that. Now let's destroy the Jabby High Fortress. Well, Jabble's going with them to destroy the fortress, so clearly he's not very torn up about that. Thank you, the annoying siren has stopped. Not Coop, Scumbella. Gabella is a much higher level, and she's better. I do. Should have had coops, though. I haven't even shown off Flurry in battle, and I don't intend to, as <laughs> for as long as I can. Because she's, she's basically like Sushi meets Lack of Lester. Neither of them were very great in the first game. Sushi was only good in the lava area. Yeah, get out of here. Something going on here. Oh. Oh, he had to pop up right there. <gasps> Ooh, this is gonna be good. Power shell. And I think Mario's going to appeal. Hi, I'm Mario. So Koops has tons of defense now, thanks to the damage dodge P badge. Mixed with his already tough shell. So, like, nothing can really stop him. Everybody, I'm Mario! Give me free stuff! Yeah! And we get a fair amount of star points for doing that. down here. Puny orb? Let's do that. Replace the puny orb. Oh, that's not good. Uh, huh? What? What just happened? Buh, buh, buh. <laughs> Man, you guys are dense! Brilliant little trap, huh? And boy, did you bite on it! I saw you sticking that silly, silly stone on the pedestals, so I made a fake one. Awesome. I mean, I knew it was great, but seeing you fall for it really gives me a warm fuzzy. 
Buh, buh, buh. <laughs> Talk about complete idiots. You guys are so dumb, it hurts. Anyway, with you fools out of the picture, I can take my time hunting for the crystal star. Buh, buh, buh. <laughs> yeah, whatever, Lord Crump. Mario, what did we do? Uh, we have to find a way out of here. But what can we do? Interesting little Easter egg here is... There's one tattle that only happens if you're in this cage. That's Puniper of the Punies. He's a little bigger than the others, obviously. So maybe he can help us reach that special area. Hehe, <laughs> just kidding. His only special power is complaining, I think. Yeah, it's kind of weird that, like, it's only in that spot that it happens. This isn't good, Mario. We gotta do something. Mario, think of something! I'm counting on you! Well, this pipe just appeared after we put the stone in, so let's do that. Oh. Hey, check these out! I swear I've seen these decorated columns before. So these are the ones you want to remember. Sun, moon, puny star. Huh? Did you feel that? That crazy shaking? What in the world was that? Does blowing here do anything? Okay, I didn't think so. Yep, always check behind the pipes. Later, punies. I'll save you eventually. But now we actually get to ditch him for a bit, which is just lovely. Yep, star piece back there as well. Man, that's gotta be a lot of star pieces. I've got eight of them, that's pretty good. Well, let's go back to that room we saw earlier with the other puny symbols. It was way over here. Great Tree is a bit of a confusing dungeon, if you're not careful. Because every room kind of looks the same. Right here, this is what we're after. Hitting that big switch made these little switches appear. So what we want to do is match up the top tiles with the way they were in the other room. Also, those exact same statues in that exact same formation are found in Frankly's uh, study. <laughs> I love the way that is, is revealed. It's awesome. That is a big, big treasure chest. I wonder what could be inside it. You got a super boots! Hey there, I'm Toadette! Congratulations on getting the super boots! These cool kicks power up jump attacks! And you'll be able to use a new technique, so let's practice it, okay? If you press A at the right moment when jumping, you'll do a spin jump. Timing is everything! Press A in mid-jump. You remember that from Paper Mario 1. Wow, that was perfect! You're a natural! Wanna try it again? Nope, I got it. Okay, that's just super! Looks like you've mastered the spin jump! You can smash through these spots like this with your spin jump. That's it! You got it! You can use the spin jump in battle too! Give it a try! Well, I hope to see you again soon! Good luck on your adventure! Random appearance by Toadette. She appears every time you get, like, a boot or hammer upgrade. But now our jumps are more powerful, which is great. And we can do this. Pretty nice. And I definitely... Well, hang on. Backwards first. Because that is a very, 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 very good badge. We got the charge badge! Adds charge to your tactics menu. So you remember jump charge and smash charge from the first game? That doubles us both. Still only takes one BP to put on. Still only takes one FP to use, I think. And you can get the P version for your partner, which is amazing. So if I equip that in Power Bounce, we can dominate bosses. Alright. 
Nice little treasure room on the floor. I don't want Koops out. I only needed him for the charge badge, which I'm not even equipping right now. It's also a badge because you can get multiple copies of it. If you get a ton of charge badges, it basically upgrades it to Super Jump Charge and beyond. That's going to leave it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. If you tune in next time, we will be clearing up the Great Tree, rescuing the Punies, and getting the Crystal Star. Hope to see you then. Have a great day, and God bless.